Hello everyone, hope that you're all keeping well. Today in this video, I'm gonna be talking about my PIP process outcome. For anybody who's going through the PIP process, um, tell you a little bit about maybe what could help you go through the process a little bit easier. Um, and I'm also gonna tell you about the outcome. So first off, I didn't have a physical appointment that I went to, which is what I had to do before. This appointment was via a telephone conversation. So I was given a time and then basically an assessor called me and we went through loads of different things on my application, which I completed. There are many questions that they will take you through. Um, most of the stuff you've already answered on your application form. My first piece of advice to anybody who is going through the PIP process is to just be as honest as you can about your condition and how it affects you. Because at the end of the day, those assessors are going to ask you. And if you've put down any false information or misleading information, it's not going to go in your favour because you have to be as genuine and as honest as possible. Um, I filled in the application form on my own. I did not go down the route of getting the citizen's advice to help me or anybody actually else for that matter because to be quite honest with you, I know my MS better than anybody else. Even though I filled this in myself, I did actually have help through the most amazing uh, website which I found which helps with things like this and even goes through help with appeals if you need to appeal your PIP and everything like that. So I will put the website here to let you know. Have a look at that. It goes through anything that you need to know about this process, any questions that you have, any disputes that may come up or any appeals or anything. If you have chronic fatigue with your MS, they're not going to give you PIP because you've got chronic fatigue. They are going to give you PIP because of how chronic fatigue makes you feel. Does it mean that you have to be in bed for three or four days out of an entire week? Does it mean that any tasks that you complete are going to be completed in double or triple the time that a normal person without MS would take to do? Does it mean that that is affecting you and your mental health as well? These are all taken into consideration because to be quite honest, people don't understand about um, multiple sclerosis. They look at you as a whole person and they just see somebody who looks relatively well. Somebody that has MS but they are still in remission still has severe symptoms of MS and reoccurring symptoms and these can happen at any time and it's not obvious to a person who's looking at you. With MS your walking can be affected, your fatigue is affected, your stability and your balance um, can be affected by vertigo, your vision can be affected by vision loss or double vision. So anything that you have got, it's not about you having a chronic illness, it's about how that chronic illness impacts your life. So that's the way that you have to get it across, is that it affects you and it affects your daily living and it affects the time in which you take to do something. The experience overall with the lady on the phone was, you know, I was so impressed by her patience. Um, I'm actually going to get upset because, <laughs> because um, oh, it's, I can't, if I wish, like, um, I could see her to say, Thank you to the to her for the way that she to for the way that she spoke to me on the phone because she made me feel like a human being through that whole process. She didn't make me feel like I had to justify why I was on that phone call to her. The process took about an hour in total. 
I was given plenty of time to answer my questions and she was so patient and understanding and actually I felt had a consideration and a knowledge about the condition. So everything just put me at ease really. So what was the outcome? The outcome was basically that a couple of weeks after that assessment on the phone, I was awarded PIP. I wish that I could find the lady who did the assessment with me and just thank her. Thank her for making me feel like a valued human being and um, yeah, just changed my whole experience and my whole belief in the system. She changed that for me. And actually, had I not have been awarded PIP, I'd still feel like that because it's not really about the outcome. It's about the process and how someone makes you feel. I always say this about things. What's meant to be will be. Um, never give up on anything and just have belief in yourself and have belief in the process and things will come right. So yeah, I think that's it. I think I'm done for the day. I am gonna go and have a cup of tea, a panne d'hôte. Thanks everyone for watching. I wish everybody the best in this if you're going through it. And as I said, if you have any questions, please message me. Okay everyone, take care and be back soon. Bye.